Hey, you absolute bunch of savages. Swift little video for you tonight, sort of continuing on from the last one I did. I was out for the walk talking about the system. And uh, yes, on me, my own thoughts on that video since then, I took a little look at my own financial situation, let's just say, and uh, wasn't great. So I thought to myself, right, what can we do here? The kind of budget. A little bit there's so many things that I'm trying to get done right now that uh, really ideally I would need to get rid of some of the personal debt hanging over my head we're on the same boat these days it is what it is the price of living has gone through the ceiling we're all doomed <laughs> but uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is something that you can do right now to improve where you're at financially so here's my top tips for budgeting ever so slightly now we've got all the bills we need to pay mortgage rent whatever all the big stuff all the essentials uh get your pay on and uh allow for all that stuff and pay that off and anything outside of that is uh Try to look at it as non-essential. And what I mean by that is, is all the stupid spending that you're doing. We all do it. Uh, if you're trying to clear up some debt, I have. Right now, financially, as far as debt goes, I'm not in that bad a position. I've got something like, uh, say, five or six thousand pounds worth of debt to get out of the way. But... Uh, you know, if you're constantly going to be running out, and to kind of touch off that last video, if you're spending every weekend drinking your money away, that's just utter stupidity. And the last video did say eighty-eight pound to fill the car with diesel for the week, and uh, you're going to probably spend that again and drink for you and your friends. Cut that stuff out. Stop doing it until you get your your debts taken down slightly. Um, on the subject of stupid spending as well if you're one of these people that is uh, smoking as well as another thing you can kind of lump that on the drink as well cut down try and stop smoking that's what I'm trying to do if you're having trouble with that there go a cheaper route and uh, roll your own with tobacco uh, you know that's uh, you're still spending money there but you can extend it ever so slightly doing it that way not that I'd recommend it in fact I would anybody is thinking of starting smoking don't do it biggest mistake I ever made one of the biggest mistakes I ever made but uh, what else have we got if you're one of these people that is uncontrollable when you go out to the shops and uh, we all know people that do it and they get their pay in and uh, they disappear off out to the shops and they have the chronic need to buy a mess load of clothes every week that they don't need cut that out at least until you get your bills down we all need to treat ourselves every once in a while but if you're running spending stupid amounts of money on clothes every week you know it's uh it's just a vicious vicious circle and um, money that's not it's wasted you know um by all means buy new clothes of course but do it sensibly you know uh, like me for example I have right now probably seven or eight t-shirts uh, a couple of jackets two or three pairs of trousers a couple of shorts a coat something they got there I will not and I will just rotate those you know you wear them you wash them you re-wear them we all do it but I will literally wear the same pair of trousers until the arse falls out of them. And uh, then I'll go and get a new pair. So it's sensible stuff like that. Um, what else have we got? Looking at some of the little bills that you have floating about there. I um, signed up to a few things online where uh, I felt it was a necessity to have it with the review channel, of course. 
you know, and putting out content there. So I've been signed up to a lot of streaming services like uh, Now TV and that sort of thing. So I was looking at them all and I was just thinking to myself, and I will refuse to seal the seven seas online whenever I'm watching movies and TV shows. I refuse to do it, and anybody that does do it, and I've said this to some people before, I've, I've came across people of similar interest to myself, and the Andy production and whatnot, but they'll always watch an illegal download online, and I'm like, you know, how can you say that you are serious about getting on the TV and film, for example, if you're not willing to pay? For the stuff that you're watching and I'm like why would we when we've got these sites online and I was like well if you want to work in an industry and you don't respect it enough to actually invest in it with your own money to watch the stuff you shouldn't be in it in the first place so uh, kind of a digression right there but um, yes for the review channel I was sitting on a whole load of stuff there I was sitting with uh, Now TV, uh, Britbox TV Shutter, all that sort of stuff. So I cancelled a lot of them during the week there. The only thing is I've got one at the moment is, uh, of course, my Amazon account, Amazon Prime, and uh, Netflix and Disney Plus. There's only three of them running at the moment. So I'm saving uh, whatever those subscriptions are. Um, what else have we got to the necessity online? I have had the... I get into... The habit of when I was creating other shows, and um, we launched the website coinsagemedia.com. Like, of course, you've got their own expenses for the website and uh, the domain name and whatnot, so that's a necessity in my mind. But I tended to, whenever I started another project, if I could get hold of the domain name for it, like, say, Here's Rotters, for example, if you put on Here's Rotters.com. And the Google right now it'll take you directly to coinsagemedia.com so I've done that with the that I've done that with the the couple of podcasts Hellmouth Hotline Scheme Me Up Body uh, it's just something that I felt was necessary at the time now right now I'm holding on to them but I was also looking through the domains that I currently owned up to this point and uh, there was a lot of stuff that I was sitting on there um, that was no longer necessary. Projects from the past that I was holding on to, buying them and paying for them yearly, just so that it could lead. You know, somebody looked the stuff up, it could lead them back to my website. So I got rid of probably twelve domain names, and they're twenty pound each. For the year so that's a big saving coming in the year as well so uh yes essentially cut out the stupid smitten uh as far as food and that sort of thing goes big expenditure that uh surprises a lot of people is the the lunches that you have during the week when you're at work um start taking a packed lunch with you huge big saving there you could if you're working in a place like where I work at in a factory and there's a canteen in there you could be spending something like probably 20 to 25 pound a week alone just in food in the canteens but uh, if you start making your own lunches and just eating what's necessary to eat um, like I can cut that down to probably you know, say, let's just say, for example, £25 eating in the, the canteens. Uh, I can cut that down from 25 to about 12 to £13 a week. Uh, small, simple little things like that. Um, stop, essentially, stop spending stupid money. Um, if you've got a car, like right now, I not really a need of a new car right now my car is incredibly old at this point but she's still running but i'm not going to go into debt to buy another car so that's a big motivating factor for me right now is to 
sort out the finances and start saving properly so whenever the time comes we're due to say to replace my current car uh, I can buy something flat out just straight out pay it on the spot no monthly payments and that because that's a killer too and uh, yes uh, buy and buy sensibly like, there's so many people I know that go out there to buy huge huge cars that there's no real need for and uh, I have seen people like buying an, a name car let's just say something that's uh, stupid amounts of money and then they'll they'll use it for work and it's just a ridiculous thing to do because uh, there was one guy in particular that I was watching what he was doing he bought this fancy machine and he was driving it to and from a place that he was working and uh, I was just sitting thinking to myself alright if you had bought uh, instead of buying that fancy wagon fuel guzzler like he couldn't carry fuel to this car if he had have bought something similar to what I'm driving right now he could the money he was spending on fuel alone to run that car to and from where he was going to at that time if he took something if he was driving something similar to what I was driving at the time or driving now he could have doubled maybe tripled the journeys on the same amount of money you know so it's it's stupid to buy those cars that are huge and you know and I'm saying that you know if you if you can afford it you've made the money uh, do it by all means fill your boots and uh, if you can afford it if you can afford to run it and not be in debt with it I'm your biggest fan in the world if you can do it bless you go and do it but if you're in debt to the eyeballs to run this car something fancy just to show off for people that you don't even like you know so a lot of people drive uh, cars like Mercedes you know Jaguars Aston Martins you name it they'll, they'll buy and drive all these fancy top of the range cars and there's no need for it if they're only using it for work that's insane so uh yes i really should have made a list before i started this thing because i'm pretty damn sure there's something i forgot to include in this episode but uh the essentials of it is you know we're getting it tight but no matter how financially bad we're finding things there is small little things here and there that you can trim down to uh, cut your expenditures ever so slightly and uh, it's a long long process if you're if you've got any of that over your head you don't have to clear that overnight but uh, you know if you're gonna spend stupid you're always gonna be in debt so uh, work out what's essential oh the other thing was stop shaving I fear did if uh, if you're not a dude and you have this problem that's uh, a whole a whole other problem that uh, I don't have any information for or any advice for but if you're a dude and uh, you tend to shave with uh, wet shave blades um, you know I'm not even gonna try and work out how much I would spend in a year if I'm shaving constantly every day but uh, I would go through at least three blades a week plus whatever shaving foam I would use to do that but if I have this sort of style going and I do shape it around the neck here and there and there you know kind of just keep it kind of tidy shave it down with the electric razor you know keep that stubble fact but as far as the blades go uh, Whereas if I was shaving the whole thing off, incredibly thick, like you eat sand, wood, with my stubble. Um, if I was shaving it down, three blades a week, no problem whatsoever. Um, whatever shaving foam, couple, couple of jars of that on a week, say. Um, I could, right now, with this style, the one blade, I could extend easily one blade to a month, 
was only doing this little bit here and uh, the one jar of shaving foam so you know that's a big big saving in the long run as well but uh, whenever you start this stuff you always have those guys it's like mmm what sort of product do you use in your beard and they're going to try and get you to start using all this crazy oils and stuff to you know moisturize the hair and whatnot and that's because this is the way we do things these days but you know in my mind if you're going to start doing all that sort of stuff and you're actually spending more money to keep a beard than what you'd spend to shave a beard then you're in financial trouble there as well because this here is a big money saver in the long run which is why it's happening right now it is what it is need to clear this debt trying my hardest to extend the car as far as i can before it dies on me and that's another thing is to you know look after the car you're going to have to make some financial investments along the line of an older car but your payments are going to be out of the way make sure you service it regular to avoid those major bills if there's any breakdowns so i think that's going to do it for this episode and uh let me know your thoughts in the comments and i'll talk to you in the next one